my friends welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in my ww air fryer series i have two yes two delicious recipes made especially for the air fryer but no fear if you do not have an air fryer you can simply cook these in your oven but they turn out so delicious and fried food like and crispy out of the air fryer if you are in the market for an air fryer i do have my particular one the power of an elite down in the description box in my amazon store so if you click the link you can check out my air fryer there i find that it's generally the best price through the link in the Amazon store. So let's get right into these two delicious WW Friendlies made in the air fryer. For tonight's air fryer dinner, I'm going to be making Parmesan shrimp, and then I'm also going to air fry some delicata squash, which is my favorite thing of fall and winter. So let me show you first what is in the air fryer Parmesan shrimp, and then what I'm going to put on my delicata squash. We're going to need some shrimp. This is my very, very favorite shrimp. This is the Private Selection Antarctic Wild Caught Argentine Red Shrimp. I love it because this is very reminiscent to what it is. It is succulent, buttery, lobster taste and texture. It is seriously the best shrimp. I picked this up at Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store, but you can probably get this same type of shrimp really anywhere. Highly recommend. It really truly is the best shrimp. Then you're going to need some minced garlic, pepper, Parmesan cheese, basil, onion powder, oregano, and then a fresh lemon for squeezing. And then I'm also going to air fry up some delicata squash. And on my delicata squash, I'm going to be putting my very favorite seasoning, which is the Dax Green Zest. I love Dax seasonings. They are zero salt, so they are fantastic before weigh-in. They are fantastic if you watch your salt intake because the flavor is so good it is on point. The green zest is honestly my very, very favorite besides the pumpkin spice. I do love the pumpkin spice and the seasonings are all natural. So all that is in here is going to be spices, dehydrated onion, dehydrated garlic. That is it. So all natural, no MSG, highly recommend. There's over 20 different seasonings. Just go ahead and head over to the DAX website. The link is down in the description box below. Use my code here on the screen. You'll get 10% off and free shipping. Again, over 20 seasonings. I have all of them. I love them all, but highly recommend the green zest, especially for veggies. So I'm going to be putting some of that on my delicata squash. So let's get started on tonight's air fryer shrimp. So the first thing that we need to do is get our delicata ready. So you're just going to chop off the ends of your delicata squash, and then you are going to chop it in half long way. So right down the center. The best part about delicata is you do not have to peel it. You actually eat the skin, which makes it super easy. And then grab a spoon and you are just going to clean out your squash, just like you would if you were cleaning out a pumpkin to carve for Halloween. So you're just going to get all of the stringiness and all of the seeds out of your delicata squash until it's nice and clean like that. And then we'll get ready to chop it up. on our shrimp so go ahead and grab out your bowl you're going to put your thawed or mostly thawed shrimp mine are still a bit frozen that is totally fine did you guys see how huge these shrimps are they're huge which is why I love these they're so so good so I'm just gonna take a second and just kind of break up my shrimp I just want to make sure that they aren't stuck together because I want to get them nice and seasoned all right and then from there we're going to go ahead and put in two-thirds of a cup of our parmesan cheese and then we're going to add some black pepper and now this is to your taste the recipe wants you to put in about a half of a teaspoon or so but again always season to your taste buds we're also going to add in some minced garlic, about two cloves worth of minced garlic. I have some oregano, and again, the recipe wants about a teaspoon, but I am going to season to my liking. And then same with some fret basil here. 
So for my shrimp, I have the tray for my air fryer. I did put it on some parchment paper just so when I use my nonstick spray, it just doesn't make a huge mess. So I'm just going to spray the rack for my air fryer. And then here is our shrimp. They look so delicious. So I'm just going to pull my shrimp out one by one and I'm just going to put them directly here onto my air fryer rack. I want to make sure my shrimp is nice and coated in the cheese and all of the seasonings. Another tip for shrimp for this recipe to save yourself some time, make sure that your shrimp is not still including the tail. So make sure you do your best to buy the tail off shrimp. It's just going to save you a lot of time in this recipe because the tails are already taken off. So literally we're just mix it together, throw it into the air fryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my shrimp on my rack here and then we'll season up that delicata squash and get both of these into the air fryer. Now for the delicata, same process. We'll go ahead and spray our plate or our tray here with some nonstick spray and then we're going to put our delicata out make sure you do it in a single layer it cooks a lot better it gets a lot crispier if it's all done in a single layer so i'm just going to add that here to my tray now if you have the basket style of air fryer just make sure that you may have to cook a couple of separate baskets in order to get all of the delicata cooked if you are going to do it in a single layer but it, trust me it makes a huge difference in the crispiness if you do do it in a single layer so I'm gonna may, I may use another tray because I have quite a lot of delicata but I'm gonna go ahead and get this all added here to my trays and then we'll be ready to season this and get this into the air fryer after you have it laid out on your tray you're gonna go ahead and spray them with some nonstick cooking spray not only will this help them brown up but it also helps the seasoning stick a little bit better and then we're just gonna go ahead and add on our dax and go ahead and do it to your liking. This seasoning is not spicy at all. It just has kind of a citrusy, fresh flavor to it. It's kind of hard to explain. It's super good with the oregano and all of the other spices. So go ahead and sprinkle that over the top of your delicata. And then we're ready to get all of this into the air fryer. So I have everything in the air fryer. My shrimp is on the bottom rack because it will cook the fastest and I didn't want the shrimp dripping on the delicata. That's kind of a pro tip. Make sure your meat starts out on the bottom rack. And then of course you'll rotate these throughout the cooking process so that you can get everything nice and evenly cooked and crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my air fryer on. I'm gonna do it at 400 degrees and I'm going to let it go for about 15 minutes. I will check it periodically and rotate the shelves during the cooking process. This particular air fryer has a light so it makes it really easy to see your food cooking away in there. If you're interested in my air fryer, I do have the Power Oven Elite. It is linked in my Amazon store below. I love it. It has a rotisserie chicken option and it also comes with the basket so it has extreme versatility it's great for larger families with all of the different rack options so power oven elite in my amazon store so i just pulled the shrimp out of the air fryer you can hear it going because the delicata is not quite done but look at this shrimp you guys yum with that crispy parmesan cheese so the delicata should be done in just a moment i'll show you that then we'll get everything plated up and here is the first rack of the delicata doesn't that look delicious the other rack, I just popped it up on the top shelf and it should be done in just a couple of minutes. So let me get our dinner plated up and I'll be back to give you the smart points. All right, and here is dinner. This looks so delicious. So I have one half of the shrimp. So half of the recipe is four smart points. If you decided to divide your shrimp into four servings, it would only be two smart points. But because the rest of our dinner is zero, I decided to go ahead and take half of the shrimp for four points. And then I have half of the delicata squash and it is zero points. So this entire dinner is only four smart points. For tonight's air fryer dinner, we're going to be making a spinach dip chicken. This is a spin on an Emily Bites recipe that was actually a cheddar ranch chicken, but I could not find the dip she called for. So I'm gonna substitute my own version of the recipe and just change it up just a little bit. And then we're gonna pair that with a side dish from Trader Joe's. So let me show you what is in tonight's air fryer dinner. You're going to need some cornflakes, salt and pepper, paprika, parsley, 
of course some chicken and my substitution is I'm going to be using the reduced guilt spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip and then we are going to pair that with this riced cauliflower and butternut squash risotto from Trader Joe's. I picked this up a while ago. It's been in my freezer. It sounds like it would be a nice pairing with the chicken. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So I went ahead and cut my two chicken breasts in half to make them thinner. And you can see here that I've started to spread with a pastry brush my yogurt dip. So this is one half of a cup and I am just taking it and just spreading it on to my chicken. And I'm gonna go ahead and coat both sides of all four of my chicken breasts with some of the dip mix. And then we're gonna put that into the cornflake mixture and give it that nice crispy coating in the air fryer. So again, just take your pastry brush with your dip mix and just kind of spread it out over both sides. So we have our chicken brushed both sides with the dip. And then I went ahead on my plate here and added half of a cup of cornflakes. We also added some parsley, paprika, salt, and pepper. And then I also have my rack for my air fryer ready to go. So what we are going to do is we are going to take our chicken and you can see that I have the dip on both sides and we're going to place it here in the cornflakes. And then we're gonna flip it over until we get that nice coating on both sides of our chicken with the cornflakes. And then it will go here on the rack for our air fryer. If you have the basket style, you'll just go ahead and place it into the basket, but yum. So we're gonna go ahead and get all four pieces of our chicken coated here in our cornflakes. And then we'll be ready to get this into the air fryer. So super fast and easy dinner. So here is our chicken. Doesn't this look so good? I'm gonna give it a quick spray on top with some nonstick cooking spray, and then we're gonna get this into the air fryer. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So our chicken is in the air fryer. We're gonna go ahead and get this turned on to 400 degrees, and we're gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes. My air fryer has a light, so you can go ahead and just take a quick peek at everything cooking. So I'll be back to show you our completed chicken. So I just pulled our chicken out of the air fryer. It looks so good. Got a little crispy. I ended up moving it down to the very bottom shelf just to finish cooking, but a little extra crispy never hurt anybody. So I'm going to let this sit for just a couple minutes while our risotto finishes in the microwave. And I'll be back to show you our dinner and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner for tonight. So I have one serving of the spinach dip chicken for one serving, which is half of the chicken breast is five smart points, so not bad at all. And then I have one serving of the Trader Joe's risotto with butternut squash, and that is two smart points. So this is going to be a seven smart point dinner. Thank you for joining me on another air fryer WW style recipe. I hope you enjoyed these two recipes. We had some chicken, we had some shrimp. Both were absolutely phenomenal. Really, truly, you guys, fabulous recipes to make in your air fryer. The recipe is down in the description box, as well as the link to my Amazon store if you wanna check out my particular air fryer and all of the other discounts and links and codes that I can offer to you for all of my favorite WW things. So definitely check out that description box below. If you're new, welcome. I have an entire video series on my channel specialty tea made for the air fryer. I also have the Instant Pot, low carb comfort food, you name it, it happens here on my channel. So make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'd appreciate a big thumbs up on this one if you love air fryer recipes. It really does help my channel out, so I appreciate it. And of course, comment down below and let me know, are you gonna try out these two recipes? You won't be sorry, they are superb. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time, bye.